Are you ready for a Meet the Germans workout? Today is all about sports in Germany. So let's kick things off with the nation's all-time favourite. Football. The German Bundesliga is a multi-billion euro industry and its games have the highest attendance rate in Europe. Having travelled to a lot of places around the world with a German in tow, I've often been amazed at how the language barrier can be broken simply with the words Bayern Munich. Football came to Germany from England, you're welcome, in the late 1800s. It wasn't an immediate hit with everyone. Some labelled it an Englischer Krankheit, English disease. But soon enough, the beautiful game got a beautiful German rulebook and a governing body. In the 1930s, the Nazis employed their common trick of using popular culture for propaganda and slapping the word Reich on the front of it, in this case Reichsfußball. Later, the sport would be seen as part of West Germany's economic turnaround. The 1954 World Cup winning team were seen as the embodiment of hard work, team spirit and discipline. The German men's team has now won three European titles and four World Cups. But enough about the men. Did you know that women were banned from club football in Germany until 1970? Germany was invited to attend the unofficial Women's World Cup in Taiwan in 1981, but the Football Association still hadn't bothered to make a national team. So they sent the reigning club champions from the small city of Bergisch Gladbach. Can you see what's coming? Yep, they won. A national team was finally formed and in 1989 they won their first official European title. But even then, because they still had amateur status, instead of prize money, the team got a set of coffee cups. Now the women's team is the second most successful in the world after the USA. Let's meet one of Germany's up-and-coming talents. Der Frauenfußball entwickelt sich stetig weiter. Es wird viel mehr in den Frauenfußball investiert. Fußball ist überall in Deutschland. Man sieht überall Kids auf dem Fußballplatz. Es ist für mich eine Ehre, den Adler auf der Brust zu tragen, Länderspiele für das ganze Land machen zu dürfen. Und ich glaube, das ist auch das Ziel jeder anderen Fußballerin. Just as important as the players are the fans. German clubs even have a rule that members must be the majority stakeholders. It's about time we gave some different sports a look in. Other popular spectator sports in Germany include handball, ice hockey, ski jumping and biathlon. Leistungssport, performance sport, is all about, well, performance. There's a focus on regular training and on winning. Breitensport, math sport, is more about keeping fit and having fun. <sighs> So how do Germans like to get their sweat on? I play basketball. No Fahrradfahren. Skateboarden. No Fußball hauptsächlich. Fußball. Basketball. Ich mach gerne Fußball, Rollschuhe und Basketball. Und Inline. Ich mach äh, sehr viel Akro-Yoga. Also ein bisschen Akrobatik und Yoga gemixt. Jetzt mache ich hier an den Geräten ein paar Übungen. Für den Rücken, für den Bauch und für den Po. <lacht> ich bin äh, Tennisspieler. Wir hupen. Ich habe das heute erst angefangen. Die beiden bringen mir das bei. Around a third of all Germans are members of a Sportverein or sports club, which organises training, competitions and social events. The concept can be traced back to the 19th century and this guy, Friedrich Ludwig Jahn, better known as Turnvater Jahn, the father of gymnastics. He invented new equipment like the horse and the beam, and he believed that physical fitness could inspire nationalism, pride and unity among German youth in French-occupied Prussia. And how active are young Germans today? I was actually pretty surprised at how few extracurricular sports are offered at schools, and there aren't many competitions between schools either. The World Health Organization actually says that 88% of girls and 80% of boys get too little physical activity here. Right now we're at the Deutsche Sporthochschule, aka Sporthochschule in Cologne. It's Europe's largest sports university with some 6,000 students from around 60 countries. It also has a legendary entrance exam, where applicants have to pass physical tests in 19 out of 20 disciplines, including diving, in order to get in. Germany has hosted the Summer Olympics twice. Unfortunately, neither is a happy memory. The first was in 1936 in Berlin, now known as the Nazi Olympics. And the second was in 1972 in Munich, when 11 Israeli athletes and coaches and a German police officer were killed by members of a Palestinian terrorist group. Interestingly, even after the end of World War II, East and West Germany still competed together in several Olympic Games. But once East Germany started sending its own teams, the ruling SED party decided to use sport to boost its popularity at home and its reputation abroad. From 1968 to 1988, East Germany took home more than twice as many Olympic medals as West Germany, despite having less than a third of the number of inhabitants. Apart from with hard training and talent scouting... How did they do it? Doping. To be specific, with one of, if not the biggest state-sponsored doping programs in sporting history. 
An incredible 10 to 15,000 athletes, mostly underage, are thought to have been doped by coaches and team doctors from the mid-60s onwards. A lot of them were unaware of the doping. The use of anabolic steroids and growth hormones meant some female athletes developed male characteristics. Many athletes would later suffer from depression, eating disorders and premature death. Germany tends to rank in the top 10 on the medals table in the Summer Olympics. Some top disciplines are canoeing, rowing and equestrian events. However, the Winter Olympics are where Germany really shines. In 2022 in Beijing, Germany came second in the medals table after Norway. It excelled in sports like bobsled, luge and skeleton. The country also has a great track record in ski jumping and cross-country skiing. Germany does, after all, have its fair share of snow in the Alpine regions, and it boasts four of the world's 17 international competition ice runs. So what do you think of Germany's sporting performance? And have you got any German sporting heroes? Leave us a comment.